Welcome everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert text to speech in the C programming language. And the code is very similar to that of the C++ version of the program. But if you are interested in the C++ version of the program alone, I'll leave the link of the video to that in the description below. But the code is very similar and I'm going to provide both the source codes for both C and C++ inside the description of the video. So let's proceed. So we shall be using an open source program called eSpeak. So I'm going to open up my browser first. Once your browser finally loads up, type in the word eSpeak and it should show a page similar to this. We'll click on the first link. This will lead us to a page similar to this and we'll look for the download section. Click on download and we'll download the setup eSpeak exe file please make sure to download the exe file and not the source code since i'm running on windows i'm going to download the windows version and my download will start shortly so for this tutorial i'm going to be using code blocks as my editor so i'm going to come and also set up code blocks in the meantime my my download is complete so once the download is complete, we'll go to the downloads folder. Downloads folder. Inside the downloads folder, we'll click, we'll come and click on our file, on our exe file, to have, to have the program installed. Click yes, and we'll maintain all the program's default settings. So this installs the program now assisting. You want to read the read me the text? No, we don't want. So finish. To make sure that the program is properly installed on your on, on your machine, come down here and search for TTS app. And if this shows up, that means the program is actually installed on your program on your computer. Once I open this app and come and press speak enter text, text you, you wish spoken, spoken here the text that's here is is read out loud for me and we can change the voice from down here that's the male's voice we can change to a female's voice down here enter text you wish spoken here you can literally write anything here and to be spoken out loud to you read out loud to you so let's close this since we won't be working with this in this tutorial but our main interest are the files of the program that we just installed and those files are found inside local disk assuming that you left all the setup default settings for the installation as they were so we'll go to the program files we'll look for eSpeak and inside eSpeak we shall look for the command line tool and if you double click on this it opens up a command line window and if you type in anything here Hello, hello world and click enter hello world. it is read out loud to you and our program is going to basically be using this window for outputting the sound that it will be outputting and i'm going to show you how this in a minute so back to code blocks i'm going to create a new project a console application and i'm going to create a c project i'm going to name it talk click finish and this gives us the project so code blocks gives us a template application in every project once i click on this i can actually view it and this is mine so i'm going to build it if it's actually built that means everything is working smoothly and i'm going to run it and print out hello world so everything is working smoothly so we'll jump straight into the coding session so i'm going to remove these defaults that come with the program and I'm going to create a variable where I'm going to store the phrase that I want the program to to speak out loud or to convert to speech. So char mode limit phrase. And I'm going to give it a size of a hundred. Just in case you want a very long phrase, you can increase the number. So it's going to say hello world. Now we have to we have to add some other 
strings onto our string we have to add other strings onto our string so to do that we shall use the string copy and the string concat function in c so string copy put a column here and go next and we'll create another variable which will keep our final string that we want to send to the command line since we are going to be interacting with the command line interface and i'm going to give this the very size as that one up there 100 also and we want to get this phrase here that the user inputs and paste onto it some command line arguments so to do that we're going to come and use the string copy function from c and i'm going to be copying onto the string i'm going to put the keyword is speak so that we can tell the so that we can tell the the command line and i'm going to put the word and i'm going to add on to it the word is speak so that we can tell the command line that we want to be using the ispeak program and on top of it we shall add string code cut we shall add this phrase here put the phrase in the middle and at the end we shall add uh, extra quotes sorry I'm supposed to put this main chain and we'll send the final command to the system and we shall put our char command here our sistring here once we do that we may also have to include another library uh, hashtag include windows dot h and this lets us be able to send commands to the windows command line shell from our program so once i build this gives me no errors which is a good sign and once I run this it actually shows me an error is peak is not recognized as an internal external command this is because the program does not know what is peak is and there are two quick fixes to this one is to add is peak to your path so that it is easily accessible anywhere from your computer the other is to go and get a copy of the ispeak command line program a copy of the ispeak command line program and the program is found inside program files we have to go back to where we we previously installed our ispeak application so to program files inside ispeak go to the command line and copy this after copying that we shall have to put it inside the root of this program here and my program files for this program are kept inside documents go to c scripts and we labeled it talk it's called talk look for talk talk is down here then paste this here now if i paste this here and come back again and try to run the program hello world the program runs and the words are spoken out loud to us now i'm sure there is an echo somehow now the echo is because the sound waves are moving from the laptop then bouncing onto my microphone and bouncing back and forth i'm sure about that but it works fine so the program has actually worked and that's the so the program has actually worked and that's just one of the ways i've told you about the other way is by you putting the ispeak on your path so that it is accessible anywhere inside your computer and we're going to do that so to make ispeak part of your path you go back to where the command line 
its peak interface is found we'll go back to local disk c and we'll go to program files from here go to the is peak folder come to the command line and copy the path to this try the path and add it to the system path so click on this go to properties advanced system settings environment variables go to path edit it and we shall add our new path add that to the path click ok 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 and once i press windows key plus the arrow it brings up this dialog and put the command cmd once you press ok it opens up a command line window and once i input the keyword now is speak it should be able to automatically detect that I want to interact with the program, the ispeak exe file, and send to it a text to be saved. Hello. Hello. So it works here. And let's go back to our program files and remove the ispeak that, that we had included inside the root. Come here, remove this. And go back and again run our program. We have to first close off the from our console. Do this, everything is okay. And once I try to run it, it's speak isn't recognized as an internal. This because code blocks needs to reboot in order to acknowledge the changes in the path. Once code blocks finally loads up, it's taking forever. So once it finally loads up, we can come to create project no no we go to our old projects click on it on the recent files and we'll try to run this again hello world and it actually works it speaks out hello world yeah and that was basically it now this is just a surface of the possibilities of the eSpeak program you guys can do so much more with this program and to know all these capabilities you have to go and read this documentation which is found inside the local disk along with its other files then is peak we have the docs folder which has all the documentation about it you you should start from the index the html that's the beginning point then you can go and read its documentation read about its usage there's a lot of great information here for you guys to read about which you are from since i'm using windows i read through the windows section and i actually found that you can change the voice using this command here so the voices are divided into male and female voices so m is for male then f is for female so let's change the voice to female using this command and argument so to do that we'll have to put the command and argument and Put the voice we want to use f3 i'm going to use f3 once i run this Hello world. the voice now sounds more feminine so that's just a basic introduction to the ispeak application and how to enable text to speech so thank you so much for sticking through this whole tutorial and in case you learned something from it please give it a thumbs up so that people can also find it Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.